Love, Death and Robots Season 3 Swarm Ending Explained This was an episode that was slightly different to the others that we'd seen. Following two doctors that were studying the hive, traitorous behaviour led to the demise of the two main characters. But what did it all mean? Well, let's get into it. Here is Love, Death and Robots Season 3 Swarm Ending Explained. Just to let you know, this video will contain spoilers. This episode focused on two doctors working to exploit the hive to create a non-sentient species that would essentially create a group of beings that would work as slaves without even knowing it or being aware. Galena had been studying and working alongside the alien race for some time, and had earned their trust to be amongst them. She was on the side of the hive and wanted to learn as much about them as possible, with no intentions of proving to be a threat. However, with Dr. Afriel making an appearance, and eventually revealing his true intentions to exploit the Hive to benefit the human race, it triggered a response from them and thus the swarm came to fruition. We heard early on that if the Queen felt threatened, you'd know about it, and we certainly did when the closing moments of the episode were upon us. We heard about how when the Hive felt threatened by another species, it would essentially breed with it, and create a far superior version of the species, and then proceed to wipe them out to the point of extinction so the threat is no more. We saw this with one of the species in the episode. We witnessed Galena get absorbed by a swarm, and it was a tragedy. She had been on the side of the hive for the entirety of the time that she'd been there, and she earned their trust. However, Dr. Afriel persuaded her to change her mind due to the benefit to civilization that it could bring, which sadly led to her individual demise and being absorbed once the hive found out what was going on. Dr. Afriel was put in a situation at the end when he was caught, where he could either lose his life, be cloned, and then breed with the alien creature to create a race of warriors that will destroy humanity, or he could survive and be aware of what was going to happen, so it was definitely a lose-lose situation. He himself chose to betray his own kind. It was quite the opposite of what we saw in other episodes of the show, such as Bad Travelling where Torin put the people of the Faden Island first, and likewise within Vaulted Halls Entombed where Harper gouged her own eyes out so she wouldn't release Cthulhu onto the world. Dr. Afriel was more concerned over his own survival, even if it meant wiping out humanity. The very thing he was hoping to take back to Earth to advance the human race now became the very thing that was going to destroy it, and he was going to be a main contributor to it. We know how powerful Swarm is due to the fact that nothing has ever been able to defeat it, so it doesn't bode well for the civilization of Earth. There was an act of pure regression and no remorse during the final part of the episode, and it was when Swarm allowed Galena to snap back into reality. You could see the sheer amount of pain, suffering, and confusion she was in, as they allowed her to reclaim her mind for only a few seconds. It was a haunting moment that showed that the Swarm takes all of its threats seriously, and the fact that it was betrayed is something that would not go unnoticed. This episode was definitely one of the better ones for certain, it provided a cruel twist of fate for an innocent person who once cared and gave so much to the Hive, only to be persuaded by one individual to go against all she believed in. It had dire consequences for Galena, Dr. Afriel, and the entirety of the human race. So, there you have it. Swarm ending explained. What did you think of this episode? Leave a comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time.